Today, y'all, I'm going to be playing with my new short curly hair and seeing what I can do with it. There's a lot more possibilities now, you know, because it's gonna be so quick and easy. So yeah, let's do that. Now the foundation of any curly hairstyle starts in the shower. If you don't have a good wet routine, forget about having a dry routine, okay? Cause it's just not gonna work out. So let's go back to the foundation. So I'm gonna wash with the Eva NYC Brass to Sass Shampoo and Conditioner, which is genuinely my actual shampoo and conditioner that I use every wash day. So it makes me really happy to work with a brand that I actually use. First, I'm going to shampoo. This is sulfate free and contains blue tansy, shea butter, and avocado oil. The lather is super luxurious and creamy and very moisturizing, so it doesn't leave any squeakiness. But my favorite thing about Eva NYC is that the bottles are 100% recyclable aluminum. Next, I'm gonna use the conditioner. It's silicone free and contains blue tansy, juniper extract, and shea butter. It is very thick and very moisturizing. A little bit goes a very long way. It also smells super yummy, like very warm sugar cookies. Next, I'm going to style. I've been experimenting with different products, but today I'm gonna to use a custard. First, I'm gonna smooth it over my hair and rake it through. Then I'm gonna flip my hair over and gently scrunch up. And then lastly, I finger coil all over my head to define the sections. I'm still experimenting with my style routine, so once I have a solid routine, I'll definitely share it with you guys. And this is the result. This is actually second day hair. That's why I have a little bit of halo frizz here. But you know what? It's okay. A little bit of frizz didn't hurt anybody. Obviously, the first style is to just let it free. Now, the second hairstyle is the one that I find myself doing the most. So you're going to grab the hair behind your ear and just tuck it in. Ooh. I have always used bobby pins with the flat side against my head, but the correct way is actually the opposite. The wavy side goes against your scalp, and the reason for that is because it has a lot more grip, and you're gonna see a huge difference in the way that it holds. Yes, my brain was also melting when I learned this. And pin it back, wavy side down. So here it is pinned on one side. Ooh, or I can try pinning down both sides. So while my hair is tucked back, I'm actually going to grab this little head scarf that I have, and I'm gonna try to use it as a headband. <laughs> I already love it. I love it so much. Now that my hair is short, it's so much more manageable and I actually have time in the morning to just do a cute style. I feel like I have way more options now, you know what I mean? I have another idea actually. Okay, so I made like this little square. Obviously I failed geometry because that is a triangle. Okay, I love this hairstyle, but y'all, tell me why I look like freaking Cusco from Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> okay, next, I want to see if my hair can actually, like, go up. My hair is long enough to go up, too. Wait, wait. Man, there's so much curl abuse going on right now. Someone call Curly Protective Services. Oh. My. <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorites. It's just gonna give me that little 
don't know, like that little cute punky sass, you know what I mean? Okay, so this next one, I don't know if it's considered a hairstyle, but honestly, I've always loved this look and I do this all of the time. So you know what, I'm gonna consider it a hairstyle. Basically, it's just sunglasses used as a headband, but I literally do this all of the time when I'm wearing my sunglasses and I don't know, there's just something about it that I love. I can't pinpoint it, pinpoint, pinpoint, it. I can't even pinpoint the pinpoint. The point is, there's a lot of points. It just makes me feel really sophisticated, like I'm a CEO, you know, I'm making important calls, I'm running around. Another hairstyle I recently tried was the slick back look. This is how it came out. It was so good. I felt so insane. Like, I never say this about myself, okay, but I feel like, I feel sexy, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, ooh, luxury. Opulence. The process was really, really long, so I can't show it in this video. So if you want me to do like a tutorial on this look that I did, I would be more than happy to do it because it was awesome, darling. It was awesome. So those are all the hairstyles that I could think of right off the bat. If you have any more, please let me know down below because I really want to learn more and play with my hair more. Let me know which one was your favorite and let me know if you know any more. And again, thank you to Eva NYC for sponsoring this video. They are literally the products that I actually genuinely use on my wash days. Um, they're an amazing brand. I love them and I'm so excited to be partnering with them because it is such a genuine partnership. And thank you. Again, if you want to check out their products, check the link down below in the description box. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.